Yeah, yeah they're cold. They're shivering. Can't believe we're having another pig. up in a piggy pile. So we literally moved these pigs yesterday because we thought she'd have her pigs, and all of a sudden now, bam, there they are. They're really Seven again. Seven again. All right, so what do you want to do? Do you want to try to move them, or do you want to? Would you just catch well, we could do babies. that, but you fed them, so we need to get her. We need to turn it off to let her out and get we the babies. Go get her some milk and some slop. But I mean, if we're gonna move them and walk them all the way to the barn, I don't think any of that's set up, is it? No, no, no but the, the the panels there. All we gotta do is close. You just have to tie the panel back. Oh my gosh. So let's go ahead. All right. We gotta get them something to cover up for right now. Just so they're so small. Well, they need to be somewhere safe. All right, so we're gonna move the sheep right quick. And so you see, you know, where we're at. This is where our house is. You see our house way over here? Pigs are right here with the new babies. And sheep are right here. Now, this was the old pumpkin patch that became the sheep paddock. There's one of our little apiaries. What we're gonna do though, is right here. This used to be just a gorgeous piece right here. And, and with the loggers coming in and all that, they just, some of the grass didn't, it's not as good as it was. But all this back in here, kind of in this little, I guess you'd call it cul-de-sac or around this island here on the pond, it's got some beautiful grass. We've been stockpiling it for this reason because we're going to try to keep them off this area behind these trees is where that big hay field is. So we're going to start it here and do a heavy, heavy rotation, quick rotation. And their fertilization, with them being ruminant animals and just releasing their manure and fertilization, it's gonna really make this grass really pop. So we want this looking good right here in front of our pond. We want them to work the area and also give this over here, over there where they're at now, we're gonna plant ryegrass just like we did this over here. So that way they'll have fresh winter grass and we can put them on hay and winter grass and really, really give them a good diet all winter. it all the way flipped all right so Aiden's got the net we pull our nets on the ground and then that way we can set them up a little bit easier all right so make sure you got that one connected and this connected and we'll make it big space he's a little upset he didn't want to stay with mommy want to go with me and now he's a little upset got this net up Aiden's finishing up right here and then what we'll do is just walk them straight across and then we'll move uh, their sheep shawl but we've got they got some good fresh grass not as thick here but really good quality grass and then real thick down there. But see this area right here is just kind of torn up. So I'm hoping with their fertilization, uh, it's gonna help it kind of re revitalize this area. But over here, it's just thick and lush. So real pleased with that. Just walk me. Hey, sheep, sheep. They've done so good lately. Come on. Good job, guys. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheep, sheep. Bye. Good job. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. All right, let's step you a little feet. Right? All right, so we're getting the remnants of... Uh, tropical storm or hurricane or whatever it is beta going across texas and now hitting louisiana mississippi line so we're just kind of checking all the animals because it's supposed to actually get pretty bad weather tonight so not much winds but just some tornadoes so uh, we've got peppa here of course you see the babies she's got uh let's see one of her babies is out you see it right behind her there and then the other six are right in the, the hay right there beside so that one little one's following mama everywhere she goes so they're doing good, doing really good. I'm very pleased with them. And uh, 
these these girls are on countdown if they don't provide some babies soon they're gonna be providing bacon so no offense I hate to mean it like that but their job was to have babies and if they're not having babies then we need to maneuver to uh freezer camp so but they, they're doing good i'm gonna go check on the sheep just to make sure everything looks okay before the storm comes in and uh the turkeys are out but there's nothing i can do because it's flooding and aiden is not where he can come help me and it's if you ever try to wrangle turkeys outside a net it's not that easy the sheep should be fine but they are kind of now on the hill i just want to make sure that it does not look like their their sheep mobile is going to be thrown around somewhere into the net and let them get out so we're walking back look how far away from the house we are i love this new paddocks that we're starting to make We'll have a video again coming out on that as we get closer to uh, grass coming up. Okay, sheep are doing great. They're under their little shelter. Doing real good. So, all right, back to the house we go. Just wanted to check that a little bit before it started storming. Right, I know you can't see me. It is literally 12, probably about 1230 at night. We've been under a major rain, flash flood, terribly. And I had to go check on the piglets. The piglets are all, I mean, it was so bad that, that the whole nets were washed away. The piglets had, they their cover had blown away. And uh, it was terrible. So I got that fixed. I, I got knee deep in mud. And, and I'm about to go home and take a shower. But I had to go check everything. So the sheet net was down. I had to go put the sheet net back up. And again, it's 1230 at night while I'm doing this. But it's so bad out here. It's so much rain that nothing can handle it so i just moved uh uh josie and christoph into the barn daddy is still in the weather and there's no way i can move him at 12 30 by myself or no telling what happened in this weather but um we're not under tornado warning it's just a thunderstorm and a just a torrential downpour all the seed that we've cast out all the gardens everything right now will be washed out Allie's okay she's in a barn they're in a barn i redid the net for the sheep and i redid the net for the pigs and i'm hoping the piglets will make it i don't know if my chickens and chicks excuse me the little blue birds and the chicks i don't know if their their fence can withhold all this rain so we're gonna go check on them we'll give you an update but i can't i can't take you out in the rain because it is terrible so you know i don't know if you can even see all this rain it's just falling like crazy it's like sheets of water so we're gonna go see what we can do I don't want to wake up Aiden or Mommy. And uh, but I got them moved over here. They're in better spirits. Let's see what we can do with the rest of the animals. Well, I don't know if I'd say I'd rescued, but the ducks are fine, of course. With everything done. I think we're going to lose our chickens. Brought the five in. They have a cover, but it was just, just underwater. So I put these five little babies in here. I just don't think they're going to make it, though. We'll see this. I put a heat lamp on them too. These are Harley's chickens, so I'd hate for them not to make it. So let's just see what happens. We'll see what happens through the night. It's literally three hours to milking time. Oh, and I'm soaking wet. These boots are like suction. Look at this. I stepped in a hole. I went all the way to my knee. Oh. Flash flood warning, they said. And they were correct. This is what I mean when I say it rained. Look at this. This is my deer paddock. Dedio is literally almost, I mean, it's, it's over my fence over here. We got to get this off and get him out for safety. This happened in a matter of about a, two hours that this water flooded this paddock. So we've got to get him out for safety, get him safely to another paddock it's already coming up in all these paddocks as well but they got more grass so we're gonna get them over to the other side but uh, look at Aiden. i mean this is just nuts it's over the fence post look at the fence post right there that means it's at least four foot deep right there over on that back side that's a six foot post and all you can see is the white i mean that's all fence posts those little white knobs that is over six that is all that's over five foot deep right there that's how much rain we've had. Our leg is risen like crazy too.